What's up everybody, Zach here, and today we are going to put together and do a review for the Home Depot Siege program of the Closet Made Ladder Shelf. Fairly straightforward to put together. It's got two uprights, four shelves, it's got four extension pieces because they go into the end down here with these brackets to extend it so it's a little higher. And then there is a little X brace right here that goes on the back. Seems to be pretty easy. Comes with all your, your hardware and it also comes with a Allen key so that you can put everything together. In addition to the what comes in the kit, you would just need a screwdriver. I believe that's everything we're gonna need to put this together. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver, get this mocked up, and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see here, I have assembled one of the uprights Straightforward. They do give you two Allen keys in the kit. I thought it was just one. So you have like an inner and outer uh, bolt basically to go through and there's a bracket on the outside that connection. Really easy. Uh, you do have the angle. A little tedious, as are with most pieces of furniture you have to put together. It's been my experience when you're putting stuff together. It's obviously it's going to be more of a DIY homeowner type grade. Um, the better furniture that I've gotten, especially through the Siege program, has all come uh, fully assembled, or maybe one little little piece. So if you're putting it together, it's obviously not the highest quality. Usually. Usually you won't have to assemble stuff that's really, that's really good. I'm trying to sort of make it a little easier. Get this last one in. Um, so far it seems to be about what I thought. It's uh, not the sturdiest shelf. I mean, you're not going to be moving it or, you know, I wouldn't place anything heavy on it. But even when you crank down on these, you got to be careful. I can tell the metal is already is already bending just from you know doing them hand tight. All right, let's get this last one here done, and we'll grab the other upright and start working on that. The carpet that I'm doing this on has some stripes in it. It's black, the same as these screws, so I can easily to lose, easy to lose sight of them. Even going that tight, it's already bending the uh, thin metal in this frame. Got to be careful with that. All right, there you go. Side's so done. Flip her over. I have to scratch the floor. Actually, put it up on the carpet so I have a better chance of not scratching my hardwood. And. Look at it. For a second, I thought I might put the other wrong, but it was just flipped the wrong way. When you have the brackets, the brackets you put on should face outward. And the one way you can tell when you are putting them together, other than looking, there's a, another hole below it. And when you put the brackets together, you want to make sure that hole is facing in. That's an easy way to check that out. Let's get all these started. Found the 
Cast two, didn't lose any this time. All right. Doing well. They seem to be the tightest. Now obviously, once I get this um, side of this, I don't know what I'm going to call it, um, upright, snugged in, it's going to tighten up the whole frame, so it's going to be a little, a little less flimsy because it'll have more rigidity. But I still don't think it's going to be that, that's very just because of the way it's put together. Screws aren't the best joinery technique, but most of these things, that's how you put them together. Place. Halfway done. And as I'm tightening this, it's pulling it, pulling the shelves and the uprights back into the place they were supposed to be. Because when I had it just mopped up, there was still a lot of play in these, so it wasn't lined up exactly uh, plumb what it is now. Two done and it must be there. I've had some other closet made items you can't, I don't know if you can see in the video, but this table over here is a closet made item that we got from the siege program that we same thing, same kind of construction. It's it's a cheaper construction, but for just decorating, not holding anything heavy. It, doesn't look bad. Um, any kind of high use or kids bumping into it or putting heavy objects on it, I don't know how they'll hold up, but I would say it probably wouldn't hold up, hold up that well. So we got that done. Let's stand this up, see how she looks. All right. And I'm 6'1", so you can see it's right about the same height as me. Next step is the cross brace in the back, which goes on with four M, it's M, four pieces of screw. All right, pull this out. One, two, three, four, with another Allen key. Got it. I wonder if I put the cross, I don't know, it's hiding from me. Cross brace right here. This should also help with the rigidity of it, tying both of the uprights together, giving a little more support. I have to fix it if it's just holding on by a thread or two. See, that goes. That wasn't on there too tight. Let's see if this one goes on any better. a little tighter. Sorry for putting it back to the camera. So 
want to get these just all in and we'll snug them up. It, it also comes with these brackets, so when you put it against the wall, you can actually attach it to the wall. So if you have children or whatnot, you'll be able to uh, ensure that it doesn't fall off the wall. All right, so attach those down there, but I don't see any holes for them because I think I have the wrong bracket on. I'm not mistaken. These brackets are different, so I'm going to have to take this off and flip it around. I thought they were all the same, but that's why it's important to read the directions. And I obviously didn't in that aspect. Of what's there. Flipping that one little bracket around. There you go. That's what it looks like put together. That's what it looks like in the picture. Looks identical. It's really tall. I'm going to look up the price to see if I think the the quality for the price is what I you know something I would pay for. Don't know until I do that. It'll all be in my review on Home Depot's site. Um, my seed review, and I'll probably put it in the notes of this video. So there you have it, the closet made ladder bookshelf. Easy to put together, just remember that the uprights, uh, when you're putting the extensions on, they're not all the same. This one I'm gonna have to revert, swap out back here because the hole for this cross brace, I, I can't attach it, I put that there. Just easy to put together. It's a little uh, off filter right now because the brace is attached. I'll get that together, but other than that, it was, a, it was an easy build, other than that one mistake. Hope everyone enjoyed it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'm always doing all kinds of reviews on stuff I get from the Siege program. So there's that other closet made shelf that I believe I got last month. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a great day.